snoozing it but I want to go to the gym and then I really, I really want to take shit seriously though my gym clothes are all over the place So morning gym session is done and I feel so good guys like it is 7.56 right now. I did 30 minutes on the treadmill and then I did some back exercises and a little bit of abs. I'm using some hair food. This is what I'm putting in my hair. Oh no, honey. My makeup is done. <laughs> Cute, simple. This is my, this is all I can do. I okay, no, this is not all I can do, but this is what I prefer to do because it's just less complicated. You know, the very natural kind of look. So yeah. I am ready to go. Guys, I feel like my makeup today is bad. I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. Something is a little bit off. Something is a little bit off, honey. I don't know whether it's my eyebrow or maybe it's my outfit. Or maybe it's my hair. I don't know, bro.
are these things always falling? You guys, I am so desperate to poop right now. Like, I am, like, when I say, guys, I probably can count how many times I've been constipated in my life. I can count on this hand. I am so constipated today. I don't know why. I don't know if it's whether it's because maybe I ate what I ate um, at Nomad today. But I had a shawarma and I only had one of them. They came in two. Or maybe it was long and they cut it in half. But I only had one of them and I had chips. So I spent 742,84 at Mr. Price. I don't know why it says Mr. Price baby there, but that's Mr. Price. And then I spent 478,70 rand at H&M, but I did get a discount at H&M, so maybe I cheated a little bit. I got 15% discount because I signed up for something, I can't remember what. So I got these black pants at H&M. They are very tight fitting. I love them so much. These were 279. And then I got this dress. I already have this dress in, in like a grayish color. I'm sure you guys have seen in my previous vlogs. Um, I have it in a gray color. So I also got it in black. It was 239. This top, just the basic tee at Mr. Price. This was $79.99. I realized that I don't have a lot of teas, especially when I'm running Iran. So I just bought this other basic one that says Butte. And this was 130. Three of these dresses in different colors. Like guys, these dresses are so nice. But I got them in I got it in the black. Then I got it in beige, medium gray. Each of these dresses were 100 rand. And then I got these pajamas. Yeah, so I got these pajamas as well at Mr. Price. These were the reason why I went over budget. I just could not leave them because I just love pajamas. I live in pajamas. So this is what I, really? So this is what I ate for my lunch. I don't know whether it's this pizza thing that is making me constipated, but yeah, this is what I had for lunch. And then I ordered. This chicken truffle pasta that my mom had the last time and it's, it was so good. So I just had to get it for a takeaway. I'm hungry all the time. Mm, it's so good. I swear I had like milk in here. Oh, blueberries. Blueberries can help me with constipation. Well, I don't know if they can, but blueberries are for digestion, so. I don't know if you have these. giving this milk a few minutes to work because I don't have time for stupid things, hey? Like, I really need to poop. I am very, very tempted to mix this, to mix this Epsom salt and drink it just so I can poop, but I don't want to regret it. So 
Let me just wait for the milk to work. Tinted. Okay, so first question. How old am I? I am 25 years old. Second question. How was it like growing up? I grew up in Guamashu, a small township in Durban, Guazulu Natal, with my mom, my siblings, my cousins, my uncles and aunts and everyone and their pet in one house. <laughs> Why did you come back to SA and what's the main reason? I never said I was leaving SA guys. In my videos, I feel like I emphasize that on TikTok in my sit down videos i said i would be living between south africa and sweden but i didn't spend as much time as i had planned in sweden because you know i just realized that i actually still have a lot of work to do i still want to build my brand as an actor and as a content creator in south africa i, I feel like i'm not at a point where i can just decide to move abroad and you know, I will still have a brand that is so strong, you know, I feel like I'm not there yet. So that's why I moved back because I really just want to build my brand. I really want to become something of myself and I'm not yet ready to give my life to someone because I am 25 years old and obviously my man has not married me yet. So yeah, you know, it was just, it was just all those thoughts going through my mind, but I still do plan to be between South Africa and Sweden so I can spend more time with my man and you know hopefully take our relationship to the next level and just next step and not live in two different countries but you know maybe sometime soon I will move to Sweden permanently but I promise you will know when I move to Sweden permanently, okay? <laughs> what was your first TV show? My first ever TV show was It's Tim Biso, which was a drama, no, it wasn't a drama. Was it a soapy? No, it was a telenovela, I think. A telenovela on Zanti Magic. I had a cameo on there. I remember I was so nervous when I was shooting that to a point where I tried so hard to suppress my nerves and I just had a resting bitch face the whole time in that scene. So that was my first ever TV show. And my first ever TV appearance though was a commercial in which I was leading for Edgar's in 2016. That was my first ever TV appearance. That was a, the first time ever I've ever seen myself on TV and where everybody saw me on TV. Everybody meaning my family and my neighbors and my whole Kwamashu community. So yeah. What subjects did you do in high school? I did life sciences, consumer studies, drama, and mathematical literacy. Matlets. <laughs> I actually remember that I had chosen physics and pure maths as my subject and I remember the first week when we received the physics textbook I took the textbooks and I did this because I just wanted to see what this subject holds and I was like nope I'm dropping the subject I dropped physics and I dropped maths and yeah I chose peace which university did you go to? I went to Wits University. I studied film and TV. My first year was 2018, but I actually um, matriculated in 2016. And 2017, I took a gap year, in which during my gap year, I did an aviation course for cabin crew at uh, an aviation school in Kempton Park. And then I went back home in Guamashu, and I just was at home the rest of the year. And I did not look for any jobs, even though I have a cabin, a cabin crew license because I just realized that I hate flying and because it just makes my ears so painful and it's just so long and it's so daunting and I just, I just didn't want to do it anymore. So. Are you a housewife? How? Where? Which high school did you go to? I went to Northlands Girls High School in Durban North. Are you single? No, I am not single. I am very much taken. I am in a long distance relationship. But I love my man and we are making it work, okay? Do you like Sweden? Would you relocate there? I really love Sweden, okay? I really do and 
the people are just so calm the people are nice you know they're nice people but also they mind their own business so they don't bother you or whatever i haven't felt any racism in sweden also you know like nobody cares about anyone in sweden honestly and that's my kind of life because i'm such an introvert and um the only thing about sweden is that it is cold guys like it's cold swedish people are not used to the sun like that the sun only shines a couple of times a year and you know it's like dark half of the year otherwise it's a really nice country i do see myself relocating to sweden because i love my man and i feel like i could adapt to the weather and could just adapt to the whole swedish kind of life you know i do see myself relocating to sweden and hopefully i don't know when but soon a year after your surgery what's your biggest advice and take home message i'm going early 2025 so for you guys that don't know i had surgery so i did a bbl and liposuction and um i would not do it again okay so basically the reason why i actually did surgery is because i feel like um i used to have really bad body dysmorphia i was just so insecure about my you know hip dips i was so insecure about my black bum but would i do it again no i would not do it again first of all liposuction is so painful like it is very painful just anything that has to do with your stomach is just wow it is very painful doctors actually say that if you went through like suction and a bbl you are the strongest person in the world you can literally go through any type of surgery because that is the number one most dangerous surgery in the world i, mean, I feel like i have a very low pain tolerance bbl 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 for me i had to gain weight for them to um, even consider doing a bbl on me because i've always been naturally like you know I'm not petite, but I've always been a small girl. So I had to gain weight for them to take that fat and put it in my hip dips and put it in my bum. For that reason, that fat was gained so quickly that I also lost it very quickly. If you guys had to see the way I looked when I came out of surgery and the way I look now, I have lost a lot of that fat, a lot of it, probably about 70% of that fat I've lost. How long have you been dating your man? My man and I are going to three years. <laughs> does your boyfriend watch your YouTube? Yes, he definitely does. Like my boyfriend is actually the reason why I've been so consistent lately. He's the one that's like, babe, have you been making videos? Remember, this is what you want and this is what you want for your life you want to be a content creator and you want to build your brand so just stay consistent and you know what he's been really really that person for me i just quickly went to the garage because i wanted some snacks so i'm back in the home yo i'm back in the home now <laughs> I just shot a get to know me video and honestly I don't think I'm gonna release that video I was just so bored shooting the video like I just get so bored talking about myself and I just feel like it's just so boring I don't know like I don't know if I'm gonna release that video if I'm being honest dog like I thought I was gonna release it on Wednesday but get to know me so you're just basically sitting there for like a good 15 to 30 minutes just listening to me talk about myself so i'm gonna take off this makeup that i've had for the whole day for this very video that i'm not gonna release <laughs> guys it's going to half past 10 and i am very hungry it's not good to eat this late because you wake up extremely hungry and then it just messes up your whole like system so
was shooting something. Today, but it's still on rain. Stupid ass weather.
If only this guy knew exactly what was going on in my life, he'd realise that partying is the very last thing on my list, right? straight back into my pajamas because today I am not planning to leave the house so <clears throat> today was such a dream day love I'm here to show you today's workout outfits like I'm matching I think this is the first time in like I don't know how long that I've been matching to go to the gym <laughs> This is what I'm having for breakfast.
sitting with Zeno. We just got our nuts. <laughs> it's free, idiots. <laughs> I ordered some teriyaki chicken. I am literally celebrating right now, like. Yesterday I put my laundry in the washing machine and I forgot to go and hang the clothes and I'm actually feeling so like off today like I just feel so I don't know man I don't want to say I'm sick but I feel very I don't have energy Because all men care what boy is capable of, especially when he's motivated. Yummy! Stop. Hey. Hey. I'm looking for your airport.
Guess who's clean? Guess who's clean and showered? Me! I'm actually gonna go upstairs and have a drink. The weather is so nice and warm today. So I'm just gonna go chill upstairs. I never chill up there, so. You know what? I need to get over this social anxiety and being scared to be seen because I promise you, I'm sure other people are just minding their own business. I'm just overthinking everything. So I'm gonna head upstairs and and have a drink. Having guys some peri peri livers and some shit. I mean, and some coleslaw and pop. <laughs> the common area is always empty like literally every time i go to the dry laundry to dry my every time i go to dry my laundry obviously i pass there and i always see that it's always empty and then today on a random ass friday it is booked and there's a party going on there it's not the whole area that's booked so i can still sit there but i just you know it's just common courtesy. I mean, if the, they booked a section of the place, they probably want to use the whole place. But rules are you're only allowed to book a small section of the place. So I'm just going to let them be, bruh. Because honestly, the people here where I live are really, really nice. So nobody bothers anyone. So I'm just not going to bother them. So I'm just going to hang out outside there in the balcony. We have nice chairs anyways. So it's okay. 